back to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Guys, I'm back out in the farm. I'm working on this Isuzu D-Max. Specifically, we're gonna be swapping out the ABS or speed sensor, whatever you wanna call it, guys. I'm gonna do it on the front wheel today. Back's a little easier, It'll be a separate video, but um, if you can do the front, you can do the back. So follow my instructions for the front one first. Guys, we're gonna to need to get the car up in the air. We're gonna use a little jack. Um, if, you, if you are on concrete, it's gonna be a bit easy for you. I'm on the dirt. So I'll have to struggle around a bit with this, but a couple side notes, make sure your handbrake's on, chuck the car in gear, and then jack the car up. I'm gonna get it up in the air, put a safety jack under it. We're gonna whip this front tire off, and then we're gonna show you how to pull this ABS sensor. So I'll get all that done now, and I'll meet you back here in a couple of seconds. Alrighty guys, so I've got the bottle jack that actually comes with these cars, and I've chucked it under that flat metal there. Um, and then once it starts to touch, like so, and it should be a little bit more stable. The bottle jack will stop rocking. And then, yeah, we're going to get it up. Just get it up enough where the weight comes off this wheel. And then oh, the rest will be self-explanatory. Alrighty, so I've got it slightly up in the air. Um, I've got a safety jack underneath. I'm going to grab this little cap here. Just give it a nice pop. And then, looks like you've got 19 mils. Or potentially 21s, but they do look like 19s all the way around. And then this hub's going to pop off. you got one. And just chuck your screws somewhere over here. Get your cap out of the way. And then, once you've got all that loose, give it a kick. Alrighty guys, so once you get the rim off, um, just by the way, I use a little hammer. Just tap the back of it, popped it off. Then, you'll find getting into this ABS sensor is a lot easier. You can see there's a 12 mil uh, straight through nut there. You've got a plastic clip here, a plastic clip here. This is a bracket that unbolts with a 10 mil. And down here, you've got what looks like an eight or a 10 mil. Then we're gonna route it back up through into this area up in here. And you will find, if we open up this bonnet, you'll find guys, if you look straight through, uh, just there, you'll see the plug. Let's try, try and put it right now in the center of the screen with enough light, uh, just there. And you can just grab that, pop it off the wall uh, where it attaches to and unplug straight down the back in there. But yeah, you'll see it straight through into that hole up against the firewall. But what I'll do is I'll run you through how to get all that right now. <clears throat> so, see this plastic trim? Uh, you can just pop that out of the way just so you can get to it a bit better. See what I did there? That that is a stretchable material and you can just stretch it back over the top. Once you get that out of the way like that, you'll find, see these little plastic clips? They are holding that plug that I was just referring to. So, if you grab like a pair of pliers, um, such as these ones, right? And you squeeze those two, um, what would you call it? Male parts of the plastic clip you'll find you can kind of just grab it and push it through. Grab it and push it through. Because remember, on our new plug, our ones from Parts Factory, they're gonna have new ones of these. So, do you see what I'm saying? You can kind of, not necessarily destroy it, but you don't have to baby this plug. Okay, so see how I unplugged it like that? You've now got the same thing through here. You wanna kind of grab it and kind of just give it a squeeze and then pop it through because then it'll just pop off like that. This one, again, you've got all these parts on the new parts factory one. Can't really get into there, oh, I can, but I have these parts so I can just pop it off like so. And then you got this 12 mil, you got this 10 mil here, 10 mil down there and should be off. So let me just grab my tools. All right, so I've gone ahead and got a little 10 mil ratchet, um, or just, yeah, ratchet with a 10 mil on it, and now I'm just going to lefty loosey. So you want to put it in the function where it's going to come towards you, just like that, popping that. And then the same one down here, you can just chuck the 10 mil over, if it is a 10 mil, which it is. And then what I would usually do, so I don't cut my hand, is I'd get a little uh, like a hammer, and I just tap that, but I'm going to just try and here we go. Yeah, that was nice and easy. Once you've cracked it, you can then just undo it by hand most of the time. Uh, if not, guys, get your tool back out and, of course, finish it off. So, yeah, finish off those two and I'll be back with you in a sec. Ready, guys? So, once you have gotten uh, the two 10 mils 
and then finally this uh, 12 or 13 up here you can just undo that remember you want to keep all your screws somewhere nice and safe you can pop that off and then you want to come down here grab your ABS sensor give it a twist let me just have a look with my eyes quickly yeah so it's just it's a bit stiff it seems so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get my trusty flat edge screwdriver which is already in my pocket I'm just gonna see if I can kind of put my screwdriver in there right so I once had a customer uh, complain about our product I'd never fitted one in person myself, so I wanted to make note of this um, in this video. So what happened was, is he complained about this design. Sorry, I should have probably pulled this out. So you see this metal design. Uh, he complained about the original OEM one not being metal, and what happened was, is he put this in, and it broke as in this sleeve kind of snapped off now what is actually happened from what i can see because if what i've done just then is i've pulled this one out and as you can see it is actually a metal design so we do have the correct product here but it has this uh, plastic sleeve so and my point is and so do we same thing so, to get it out just then, I had to, I couldn't just, most ABS sensors I've ever done, you could come in here, give it a twist, and it'll pop out right. Then, if you were to put that back in there right now, um, which we can do for the sake of the video. Hang on. Right, you can see it's all good up until that point, then it gets very stiff. Now, I want, to, I want you to imagine that stuck in there just then. This is how I got it out. And I'll get to what I was saying before. I grabbed this flat edge screwdriver. And I actually grabbed this uh, shield, bent it out a bit, and came in and popped it out like that. And it shot out that direction. Then grab your shield, bring it back in. Bob's your uncle. So now we can pull this out. I want you to imagine an inexperienced individual putting our new one in. Now. If it was hard to get out, it's going to be hard to get back in. So what you do is you get a bit of, um, it's like lithium grease, grease it up. And the same thing over here. You want to grab a bit of, um, it's, what do they call it? Um, you use it in your sink. Uh, it's like an iron filing sponge. You know what I mean? So as you, as you scrape and clean the area, it's going to clean up that surface and it will allow for it to get in a bit easier. Now, I think that I can get in without doing that. I'm out in the farm, guys, so I don't have access to everything that you guys might have access to. Um, I will let you know right now, this is actually the wrong side ABS. Um, again, I didn't look. So usually, we've got both sides in the checkout, guys. So at this point, just it will obviously face that direction. And then, what I'm going to do, just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you we can get this in without breaking it. So it's nice and straight. I'm just gonna bring a little hammer. So this is what he would have done. And I want you to imagine what he's done. He's kind of hit it here and he snapped it. And then he blamed it on us. Um, and naturally, yes, uh, good faith. We can swap this type of stuff over guys, but I would prefer if you did this the first time. Now you can see that I've got that in all the way. Usually this would be around here, put that bolt back in like you saw, and you can see it poking in there. And then that's your ABS sensor, guys. So, at this point, you'll have the exact same procedure, but in reverse. Uh, this goes up through here. Now guys, I do want to apologize. I have now realized that a right won't necessarily fit. Look at that, but guys, as you can see, it is an exact uh, OEM replica, other than the fact that it's the wrong side. So you would just simply feed it up, 13 mil in here, tighten the 10 mil here. Here's that brand new bracket I was telling you about. That's going to go to here, 13 here, plug in and take the plug, plug in, take it around the corner and obviously that will face the other direction. 
And then remember how I said new clips? Our parts do come with those new clips. You can line up, push in, grab that cover like I said, tuck this plastic. You've got two hands, so you're going to be able to do it a bit easier. But you can just grab that plastic, stretch it over that. And yeah, as I said, plug that in and you'll be job done. Now, guys, don't forget, make sure you do up your lug nuts correctly. Put your cover back on properly. And then, yeah, get rid of your jack. Put your jack all back in the right place. And that's how you change an ABS sensor on an ABS. On a, that's how you change an ABS sensor, guys, on a Azuzu DMAC.